when you have skin issues like eczema, other skin rashes, ringworm, etc. You know those stubborn ones that are so hard to deal with and you've tried a lot of medicinal plants and you don't seem to be getting any results. The one medicinal plant that is said to get the job done is this one that is called Cassia alata, otherwise known as King of the Forest. And so in this video, we're going to be sharing the different ways in which persons use this plant in traditional medicine to treat a variety of skin issues. Keep watching. Okay guys, so you are now looking at a plant that is scientifically known as Cassia alata or Senna alata. Here in Jamaica, we commonly refer to it as King of the Forest, but it has other common names in other parts of the world. For example, it is also known as Candlebush, Craw Craw Plant, and Ringworm Bush, among many other common names. It can be found growing in places like Africa, Asia, and the Americas, for example. And here in Jamaica, it grows wildly and organically in persons' backyards, front yards, along roadsides, in forests, and in other green spaces. This plant has antifungal and antimicrobial properties and um, it has several uses in traditional medicine. But in today's video, we're only going to be focusing on some of the ways that it is used to treat skin problems. So people use Cassia Lata to treat a wide range of skin troubles. Um, for example, they use it to treat eczema and other rashes, ringworm and other fungal infections, scabies, herpes, liver spots, sores, acne, insect bites, itches, burns, and wounds. And they use the plant both internally and externally for these things. Some people make a decoction from the leaves of the plant then they take this internally to purge the body, which in turn helps to rid the body of skin diseases. In combination with this, they use external treatments as well. And um, for external treatments, one way in which the plant is used is to use the leaves to make a paste. And this is usually done by taking fresh leaves and pounding them in a mortar and a pestle along with a little water. Then they apply this paste as a poultice to the affected area or they add water to the leaf powder to make a paste. Then they just apply this to the affected area. The leaf sap is also applied to the skin sometimes. Now, before we go any further, guys, if you're finding value in this video so far, please, I'm asking you to drop a like, a comment, and share this video as well so that others can benefit from this information today. Also, if you would like to donate to the channel, then there is a PayPal link in the description below. 
so all you would have to do is to click on it and you will be able to do so to check out our merch store there is also a link to same in the description below if you're new here a very warm welcome to you if you would like to see more videos like this one in the future then please subscribe to the channel right now and um, also please turn on your post notifications so that you will be alerted whenever we upload our next video thank you so much guys now let us get right back to the video so guys to treat different kinds of skin issues people also heat the leaves of the plant in coconut oil until they turn crisp then they cool this strain it and then use it topically for wounds insect bites itches etc people also extract the juice from fresh leaves then they put this on a piece of cotton and apply it topically on the affected area also for wounds the leaves are boiled and simmered to about one third volume then this is applied to the affected area twice daily the leaves are also juiced and mixed with lemon juice and applied topically to the skin to treat dermatitis it is also taken orally for syphilis a strong decoction of the leaves and flowers is used as a wash for eczema it is not recommended for anyone to drink this tea for longer than a week because continuous use or if you use it too often it can cause diarrhea which can lead to a loss of electrolytes which is never a good thing um this tea is also not recommended for pregnant women medical disclaimer the information shared on earth's medicine is for the purpose of enlightenment it is not to be used as a substitute for pharmaceutical medicine if you are feeling ill or you have any health concerns please speak to your doctor about same